So far, I update here on the 15th. All right, I'm going to refrain from talking about uh, if CPI is going to help us out or not, because obviously CPI should have helped us out today. We got lower than expected. That should be good for sooner rate cuts. And what does the stock do? It goes down. So I won't talk about the narrative anymore because it's kind of dumb at this point. The stock is not following that at all. It's just, it's manipulated in different ways. It's still following patterns, but it's just day-to-day -day manipulation. Um, so right now, just based on the chart, I would say that that down move is the most likely. Because you can see here, if this was going to be a five-way move, which what we want to see, it would have had to have hold, had to have held 727. That's where we finished that actually, and it came down here to, let me see, came down here to 721. So at this point, it looks to me like we are going to be coming down here, and you can see here we made a high of 765. The high here was at 795. And this is at 660. So that looks like 640 would be in play, maybe even 630. Um, and that's not going to really matter that much. Like I was saying in the previous videos, I was saying it's going to matter if we hold this. I think it could matter, but I don't think it really matters that much. If this is an ABC move, it doesn't really matter. If the B wave goes past the A wave. So we come down here to 630. Even if we came down here and gap filled, I would still say that we're going to have a C wave higher. So it's still going to be A, B, and a C wave like that minimum, potentially all the way up here. You could have an expanded flat. You can see it definitely makes it to 14 bucks. So I think that's more likely we're going to come down. I don't know when uh, or how far it's going to go down. This is saying 630 now. Just because the top here is 764, 794, that's 30 cents. 30 cents lower, seven or 632. But we could stay within the parallel lines too. Um, if we do that, then the E wave should be finished and we should be ready to make a move higher. Short term, I'm just looking for this demand zone here at 715 to 705. You can see here on smaller time frames that potentially a five wave move right here is starting but i'll give it a slight chance of going higher that's going to have to be some kind of nested move but i don't give it very good odds because this looks very corrective to me this would have to be a nested move now like this and it would have to break through the supply zone, break through all the moving averages now because we're below the 20 and the 50, I think, now. Let's see. No, we're still above the 20. So we're kind of in between the 20 and the 50, and we have the 200 up here. So again, that supply zone, like I said in the video yesterday, is very strong for resistance. So is this parallel line. It hit it twice and rejected. So the downside is the most likely. We'll watch it from day to day, looking for the downside down here to 630, 640. And if we're unlucky slash lucky, you can add down here at six bucks. So um, that's pretty much all I got to say. It looks like the downside is more likely. If we are going to go to the upside, got to break above the 200 DMA. So just wanted to make a quick video. I said I would. CPI was not helpful today. Um, it was help for, helpful for some stocks, but not for SoFi. So leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. And I'll probably do another update here soon. Why not? Keep it going every single day. Try to figure out where the stock's going. Let's see if it does indeed break to the downside. Hopefully everybody's got some protection for that. So that's it. Have a good night. Talk to you soon.